My fans are saying very big welcome back. My new visitors, those that are coming in for the first time, I say welcome. Please subscribe to my channel to support me. So today, last time we did a video on how to cut a mermaid skirt. You can use it for both skirt and gown. So today we are going to do the tutorial on how to sew it. Today is basically on the sewing. The half length, I've done a tutorial on how to cut a bustier before, is in my YouTube channel. If you have not watched it, I will link you to this tutorial. I don't want to repeat the cutting of the bustier so that this video will not be too lengthy. So I will just link the tutorial of how to cut the bustier to this uh, to, uh, uh, tutorial. Check the description box, you will see the it there. So just follow it, you get yours done. So today we are going to sew the gown. Stay just watch to the end of this tutorial. So now let's go to the cutting table. Okay, like I, I mentioned earlier, this is my already drafted uh, bustier pattern. So I'm going to use this is for the front and this is for the back. So I'm going to use this now to cut out both my lining and my fabrics for this tutorial. Like I said earlier, please check the description box for this tutorial. You will see it there. Okay, as you can see, I have cut out my fabrics, both the lining and the fabrics is here. This is my center front. You can see it. I've also cut wardens for it. I also have the lining for the center front here. This is the lining. When you look at this pattern, you will notice that there is no seam allowance on this because I've added the seam allowance when I was drafting the pattern. So, this is for the side. I have here one piece of the fabric and one piece of the lining. On this side, I have one piece of the fabric and one piece of the lining. I have also cut out wording for it. So, this is for the front. Now to the back. This is for the back. This is the lining for the back. I have two pieces here, two pieces here. Then this is the back fabrics. I also have two pieces for the back fab fabrics. When you look at it, there is no allowance because all the allowance have been added when I was drafting. The fabrics you can see it. this is the zipper allowance but in the course of the sewing I will alter this zipper allowance by half an inch I'm going to move it in by half an inch to avoid the zip bulge at the back that's during my sewing I will do that I've also got neckline for my clothes if you notice here there is no neckline so this is for the center back. Then for the side back, I have two pieces here. You can see it. I also have the same for the lining. And this is the pattern for the center back. Okay, I've cut that lining for the fabrics. So my lining is two inches shorter on this side. Remember, the side of this back is to be the same with the front, but this is the extended trim. So, what I'm going to do now, put it the way it is, right side facing each other, and we'll sew it with one and a half inch seam allowance. See where it stops. I will do same on this side. I will do same to the other ones also. So, I'll bring it this way, right side facing each other. It has to be this way. I have to pin it down arrange it and pin it down please it's necessary you pin it down as you arrange you pin it down you pin it down you see it everything aligned i hope you are seeing it then i'll sew with half an inch seam allowance the same thing i will do to this side and also on my back 
lining so for the front i will also do same for the front so what i'm going to do to the front is i put it this way first i will iron my wording on my fabric i was supposed to iron the wording on this uh, fabrics but there is no light and i can't continue waiting for light so i have to top stitch it you can see I top stitched it on it. So now I put it this way. I'll make my right side will face each other. I will align it here very well, making sure that the under boss points are aligned together here. Yeah? So I have to, like I said, it's very important to pin it down. Then you arrange and pin. This place that I notch is my boss point line. And okay, this is my boss point line. This is it. So this is also the boss point line. So you have to make sure that it matches together. It's very important to match the under boss to under boss and boss point to boss point. You pin it down. See it, I've pinned it down. So as I'm sewing, I just arrange it and sew. I just follow the trend. So this is it. So here, I'll just move this, match it. this side the ridge. by the time I, I open it up now, by the time I see you see it this is it so I'm going to sew go to my machine now and sew it with my half inch on both sides with my half inch okay I'm done sewing the cup this is how it came out see how it's standing this is my lining also. I've sewn it. I, I ironed the interface on my lining. So I'm going to put my lining on it this way. Make sure you match the center of the neckline. Right side facing each other. You sew. You pin it first before now sewing with half inch. So I'm going to sew the neckline and also the two sides. This is the back fabrics also. I've also sew it and also the lining also. So like I did in the front, I will just put the lining on it this way. I will sew the neckline, sew the side, zipper allowance side and also this side. I will do same to this one. Okay, you can see I'm done turning it. Please take note, the neckline, when I sew the neckline, I, I notched it. After notching, I have to top stitch before I turn the side. So please don't make that mistake to forget. Don't forget to notch your neckline and top stitch. So now that I've done it, I've done it in all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get both the front. This is one, one piece of the back. I'm going to trim off the excess lining here so what I will do now is um, I will let them right side facing each other so I will lay it this is my zipper allowance of the half length and this is the zipper allowance of the skirt the damp part so I will lay it right side facing each other, arrange it very well. You will not pin it down and sew with your seam allowance. I will do same to all other ones. So this I'm done joining them. You can see. This is for my back. 
So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to lay the back together this way. I have to align it very well to sew the zipper. Remember, the zipper allowance is supposed to be two inches. I've used half inch to turn the lining. So it's remaining one and a half inch. So I will arrange it till my five inches before my knee. I will sew with one and a half inches. When I get to that five inches before my knee, I will use half inches down. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay. I'm done closing the zipper allowance. When I want to fix the zip, I will measure where my zip will stop. Then I will use my seam zipper to open it up and fix my zip. The down will remain closed. So now it's time to join the shoulder. This is my shoulder. I bring one of these, match it together, make sure that it aligns together. Then I will turn it, flip it this way, then arrange it and sew it half inch. I will do same to this side. By the time I'm done joining the shoulder, I will shape with my one and half. Remember, I did two inches seam allowance. Now I've used half inch to turn my line in, remaining one and half inch. So I will shape it with my one and half inch seam allowance from my I'm going to my hem. I will do some on the both side. Okay, I'm done shaping my gown. And this is what I have now. You can see the back is a little bit longer than the front. If you want it long, you can extend it. This is it. I'm okay with this. Then I've also fixed my zip. You can see it, I've fixed my zip. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fix the sleeve. Where is the sleeve? So this is the, the sleeve. It's just normal basic sleeve I'm going to use on it. So if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve, I will link to the tutorial. I've done a tutorial of this in my channel you can check my channel i will as well link the tutorial to this video so that you can watch how to cut a basic sleeve so i'm just going to sew my zip then my sleeve down like this then this is my armhole i will do same to here then attach it to our gun and our gun will be ready okay as you can see i'm done fixing the sleeve and Gun is uh, ready. Well, let me turn it the way you see the manual very well. Good. You see, this is the front and this is the back, the extended trim. Like I said, it's not much, it's only four inches I added or, or thereabouts. Look at the side, it's equal by the side. Look at this side also. It's equal by this time. So you can give it a try. So easy to make. This is the back. See the way the back is? This is the back. I give it a try. So beautiful. So if you have been watching till the end of this tutorial, thank you very much. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also you put on the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a new video in my channel. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.